Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. You guys, it feels so good to have you here. We are nearing out this year and entering into the year 2022. 2022 is going to be 1000% epic. And one of the things that I'm the most excited about and that I want you to be very excited about is the fact that Jupiter is going to be entering into the sign of Pisces and this is going to be happening this week. This is going to be, in my opinion, the year for magical beings, for the magical being within you. I feel that you can sense, I can sense, that our intuitive powers have been getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. We have all individually, in the collective, strengthened our intuitive gifts, or we have become so sensitive to the world around us and the world within us to the point where our communities have been growing our spiritual communities have been growing like crazy because we are all finding each other we are all linking up i do want to say really quickly that because there's so many different types of people from different backgrounds that are coming together at the same time we have to be so respectful of each other's paths of each other's individual paths right we're breaking away from the status quo we're breaking away from the powers that that used to be and we're stepping into this new normal with uranus moving through the sign of taurus especially now retrograde this rules the Hierophant type of energy, so it represents how we ex our expectation for how things should be. For the church, for the rules, for the regulation, we're breaking free from that. So I want to encourage you guys to be encouraged when it comes to you stepping out and you striking out on your own individual path and really prioritizing what feels right and what feels good for you at this point along your journey. 2022 is the year of things harmonizing together. This is not only on the external, but it's on the internal. It's gonna be the people, the things, the places that are an energetic match for you where you're at. And there's no judgment that should be there. Uranus and Taurus that is it's literally working to break break you free of past judgments and past harsh punishment that kept you from being your authentic self, your authentic truth. And this is not just you, but this is your family. This is your the generations that came before you. This is businesses and organizations and things that were established the rules that it's like if you break free from this if you do differently you will be punished or you will be ostracized from the community you will be left out you will be isolated or left alone ten of swords this is what we are laying to rest now everybody has their own path and to each their own so as these spiritual beings and as these highly intuitive beings are coming into play I really want to encourage everyone to embrace non-judgment perspective, non-judgment lifestyle. And that is not just how you observe the external world or how you observe your world around you, but also how you approach and, and heal yourself. As Jupiter is moving to the sign of Pisces, and this is going to be happening on the 28th of December, Jupiter want, well, Pisces energy is so unconditionally loving. It can be very, very cathartic. It can be very healing, but at the same time, it can trigger some of your subconscious fears, your subconscious insecurities, and ways of the past or ways that you have been imprisoned to think or imprisoned to perform that you are now being made aware of. Jupiter is the guru. It is the planet that rules our higher wisdom. This is definitely not something that is taught to us. It is definitely not something that is that we gain while we're living our life here on Earth. It is something that is revealed to us with, as we live through our experiences and as we live our authentic truth. But we are being reminded of truths that were given to us from the divine him or herself. 
That's what Jupiter and Pisces rules. So as magical beings, let me adjust my incense a little bit here. As magical beings, we are invited to explore the, the greater unknown that within the world, but also within ourselves. That's where we're being invited into right now. It's an absolutely magical place, but at the same time, don't forget, Pisces also rules the subconscious. It rules our fears. It rules our self-doubt. It rules our psychological limitations. It rules the toxic traits and twists of the mind or in our environment or in the world or in our relationships that as Jupiter moves into this, we can no longer let it sit and fester in the background. Jupiter expands everything that is that it touches. And there's part of you that knows that there is something hidden back there. There is a truth that may be difficult for you to sit with, for you to stomach. So it pushes it up and says, look at me, observe me. When Jupiter was moving through the sign of Aquarius, we were so accustomed to being distracted by the internet, by communities, people, things that are going on around us. We really were very interested and involved in emotionally distancing ourselves from certain things because we felt like we had this higher purpose, this higher desire, this higher need for certain things. But as Pisces, as Jupiter moves into the sign of Pisces, Pisces that rules the depths of the ocean, the sea itself, literally Queen of Cups is here. So this is the water sign, our emotions, our intuition. We are now diving really deep into our emotional intuitive selves, our, our emotional intuitive bodies. And that is a very cathartic and cooling place to be within, but it can also be very, if we're not careful, it can be very, very triggering and it can be very tough waters to swim through. I want to encourage you guys as you're moving into 2022 to tap deeper into your intuitive selves and to abandon your logical thinking, your mental bodies that, or your emotional bodies even that typically prevail, that typically, typically are leading your steps and guiding your way. I know that in the English language, we talk about our, our feelings, right? So sometimes because the English language can be a little limited, when we think about our feelings, we think immediately of our emotional feelings. And those things are very important. Our emotional feelings are very important, but when I'm talking about feelings in this video and the power of our feelings, I'm talking about our intuitive feelings. And that means that your emotional feelings may be sitting here, your mental body might be sitting here, but there's this in-between, right? There's this in-between that you will find yourself learning to rest within and learning to trust. And those intuitive feelings say, listen, I know that I may be emotionally feeling this, and I know that mentally this makes sense. But my, my intuitive body, my inner wisdom, my higher counsel, the higher guru within me knows that this is the truth, the way for me right now. And if you are following your intuitive feelings and not being emotionally triggered by your emotional or your logical feelings or thoughts, you are going to be led to deeper waters that are more deeper rewarding and have better outcomes. And the growth that you're going to experience as Jupiter is moving through the sign of Pisces is going to be so excellent. It's going to be so cathartic. It's going to be so powerful. If you thought that you were a magnetic manifesting being already up until this point wait until the end of this jupiter and pisces transit you guys are going to be manifesting like it's lightning bolts that's so exciting but at the same time what are you intuitively sensing that it's time for you to um, manifest now as jupiter is moving through the sign of pisces we're going to be called to look into our psychology we're going to call be called to look into unconditional loving um you know feelings of ourselves and of others we're going to look a little bit deeper into self-sacrifice that doesn't mean that we're made into a, a, a position of victimhood however some of you guys will have to explore those waters of victimhood or victim blaming and, and finding your voice and finding your backbone and finding your power because maybe a part of you thought that you were powerless or maybe a, a, a part of you is scared or not ready yet. By the time this Jupiter and Pisces transit finish, finishes, I guarantee you, you will have healed some really deep 
trauma wounds and trauma bonds within you and and be cl cleansed and baptized almost totally energetically free that's something to be so excited for I do want to say to you guys I want to warn you we're already starting to see it uh, this is something that I was telling you guys about earlier be very mindful of scam artists be very mindful of dis people who are who are intentionally trying to deceive you they're trying to take advantage of you they're trying to manipulate you that always happens with Pisces energy across the board um, just the, the even the good things of them can sometimes kind of twist around into something that can be more toxic and more draining um, the depths of those feelings can also be used to intimidate it to, to intimidate or to take advantage of lesser than or maybe um, your friends or family or you yourself you you'll have to explore how you use emotional manipulation tactics to control people or to get what it is that you want that is not powerful at all that's not powerful at all I don't think that any one of you guys should would be intuitively led into that state of being king of pentacles is here <laughs> jumping out so this could be earth energy um, uh, Capricorn Taurus Virgo that tries to use their emotions in order to manipulate control to contain you to confine you this is where again you just tap deeper into your intuitive feelings again this Jupiter knows my loves Jupiter knows it's not what you learn it's what you are reminded of as you live this life that you're like you know what this is my truth there are all these different paths you know to this divine experience or higher enlightenment that I can explore but this is my truth this is the path that is right for me that's not anything that anyone can teach you about you may learn certain things along the way but it's only reminding you what you know deep within your gut deep within your intuition this is the gift that the that God or the divine has given you this is the path that was paid for you specifically while you're here on earth so just be mindful of this king of um, pentacles type of energy or being very aware of businesses how businesses and organizations can try to manipulate or control you as a whole as a whole speaking of businesses one of the things that's really standing out to me especially with the ten of swords and the nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles is i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be ending your corporate america type of careers or ending a cycle in the career the work that is that you're already doing and stepping into a more independent space um i see this being very very prosperous for for you if you decide to confidently courageously go where you are being led when it comes to how you're going to make an income with Jupiter moving through the sign of Pisces this is work that feels very purpose driven and it feels very intuitive intuitively led it may not logically make sense to you and can trigger a lot of emotional feelings that make you feel like should I even be doing this like shouldn't I I have children I have responsibilities to put this all on the line Queen of Pentacles this feels like I'm being selfish and this feels like I'm a liability to my family or a liability to the community or a liability to the expectations of my my family or whoever or to myself by the fact that it is that I want to pursue something greater for myself and spirit is like we are leading you here for a reason in fact I just heard to a bigger cause don't be surprised if you're led into advancing your spiritual studies um, also energy work Reiki work I'm also seeing a lot of you guys getting more involved in less fortunate communities helping people who don't have resources or you might be led to different forms of psychological healing or counseling of all different types the other thing that I want to talk to you guys about is finding stability within your relationships and finding stability within yourself that is something that is really absolutely coming through here one of the things that's really standing out to me that spirit is showing me right now is the fact that at the foot of the king of pentacles we have the bull and at the foot of the queen of pentacles we have the rabbit now the bull is the sign the fixed sign within this within the um within the zodiac it it's not moving it's fixed it's strong it's powerful it's faded 
and I feel like this is showing you how powerful you are to become and how powerful you are currently becoming simply by grounding yourself in this intention that you've already set for yourself. This is not something that is just a spark that you just randomly feel today or yesterday or tomorrow. This is um, a belief that has been implanted within you for years Gener almost your entire lifetime that you knew from the moment that you're born into this onto this earth I know that this is something that is for me you may not have seen signs of it yet you may have explored different lessons within things revolving around this wish or this desire that you have within you. For example, let's say this is dating or relationships. Each one of these nine pentacles within the nine of pentacles card represents a, a significant relationship or a significant moment within relationships or through your dating history that was a lesson that needed to learn. It served a greater purpose. It served a greater cause. There's this Me massive message as I'm talking to you guys about the word cause that spirit always speaks to me through the through words or music and the word that keeps coming through is there's a cause there's a greater cause for why certain things happen we can call them lessons sure but I feel like the word spirit wants to use is cause there's a reason why you had to experience this there's a reason why you had this type of relationship there's a reason why you dated this type of person because there was a cause behind it and all of those things over time if you're not careful right it can seem like it's fixed it can seem like it's faded or that this is going to be your destiny forever and spirit is saying something about the rabbit and something about the bull coming forward there it's not faded but your fate is quickly changing because of all these all of these different causes. So nine nine pentacles, nine different lessons, or these major overarching lessons that you've already experienced within your life have served a purpose, a major purpose within your life in order to get you to where you need to be in order to gain what you are to become or what you are to receive. And in 2022, I guarantee you 2022 is going to be year going to be your year where it not only manifests but you're going to be the living, breathing embodiment of the vision that was set at your at your feet from the moment that you entered this earth. This has a lot to do with karmic cycles. This has a lot to do with your greatest frustration. This has to lot has a lot to do with major major lessons and major experiences that you're just like, wow, am I being left out from this thing, this hope, this wish, this dream that it is that I've always had? Or maybe this will just always be the way. And I just feel like with the bull here and with the rabbit card, it's not that something is breaking breaking free because that feels too spontaneous. It just feels like after a lifetime of you working on this, wow. After a, wow guys, four of, four of wands and six of wands, spirit is just speaking. After a lifetime of you working on this, after years of, of trial and tribulation and trial and error, after years of lessons and feeling no reward, but a lot of pain, ache, and suffering and having to say goodbye and having to evolve, finally, something happens here. Something harmonizes and something comes to fruition and something manifests. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, or especially if you're brand new to Bahati Life YouTube channel, but my Six of Wands card is what I call the PTSD card. And we've been seeing this a lot lately. I did a reading for a friend Christmas Day. She came over to hang out with me and my mom. And of course, I was just shuffling cards because that's just what I do. I have so many different tarot cards and there's tarot card decks and they're spread out all throughout my home along with bundles of sage or sweetgrass or palo santo. And we just happened to be sitting in the coffee at the coffee table and I was just like can I do a reading for you and six of wands my loves just it was showing up for everybody's reading it's been showing up for long distance friends that I've been shuffling for because I'm always shuffling for if I'm not shuffling for you guys I'm shuffling for myself and I'm definitely shuffling from my my people around me but six of wands is so funny because it keeps showing up because it says literally if you were out on the battlefield ten of swords if you've been out on the battlefield if you've been fighting 
fighting, 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 right? Subconscious, subconscious wars, um, intuitive wars, emotional wars, physical wars of the, of the, of the flesh, of the body, mental wars. Something is going to be laid to rest. We don't go back to where it is that we've come from. Spirit doesn't take us through the battleground in order to, and then bring us into a position of safety and harmony and alignment in, in order to for you to just run back into the battlefield. Something you have to decide for yourself. I'm not going to return back to that, even though it may be comfortable for me, even though it may be con subconsciously a comfort area for me or what I've become accustomed to. With the King and the Queen of Pentacles, both of these divine counterparts showing up at this reading or for this reading, you have come so far. They are the King and the Queen for a reason. They don't roll their sleeves up and get involved in everything because not everything is for them. They have an, a, a, an in tune, strong sense that there are others that will be involved in things that they are no longer going to dirty their hands with. They have evolved past that. They have surpassed they have surpassed that. Five of Swords. Literally this card just jumped out. These are things that you know that if you engage with it, if you get, you know, if you if the, what's the quote that just came through to me? It's if you lay down with dogs, you're going to rise up with fleas. Right? So, don't get me wrong, I love dogs. I have two <laughs> two dogs myself and they are my world. They are polar opposites. I love them to death. But at the same time, it represents the energy of the people and the things that you do not, you should not, should no longer find yourself resting with, okay? Five of Swords shows that, you know, you might have some type of benefit from it, but is it a benefit? Because the energy of it is so toxic. It's so negative and it holds you back from progressing. Where you are going, especially with the Six of Wands card here and the Four of Wands, not everybody is going to be able to come with you. Ten of Swords means that there are some really interesting trauma bonds and karma bonds that you have to finally lay to rest. In fact, I don't even feel like you're going back to pick up the bodies. King of Pentacles and Queen of Pentacles may need to mourn the loss of what they're laying to rest, but they have to say goodbye and they're moving forward because they have to go into the castle. Whatever happened on the battlefield, they'll have the memories of it. They'll journal about it. They'll process it. Nine of Pentacles may even mean that they may need some um, some counseling, some talk therapy, some transcendental transcendentalism um, meditation, something that's coming through, some rituals, some whatever it is that you're going to that is going to be cathartic and cooling and grounding for you is something that I see you manifesting and embodying. Why am I saying these things? Because that's what Jupiter and Pisces rules. It rules the, the spiritual practice. It rules the meditative practice. It rules the journaling prompts and activities. It rules the cathartic long walks that you decide to take every single day because you've committed to bettering yourself, all, all of your bodies. That means mind, soul, spirit, mental bodies, physical bodies, all of that. Emotional bodies, all of the bodies get healed. Yes, of course. If there's a loss, a greater loss, you can allow yourself to get tripped up in it and to fall back where, with what you're laying to rest. That would be so unfortunate for you. That would be so unfortunate for the world. That would be so unfortunate for your future. Don't give up. I really want to tell you guys this. Don't give, don't give up based upon your experiences that you've had and that you've been led through thus far because that is not your final destination. Your final de destination, my loves, clearly is the Four of Wands. This is the card of things just being so blissfully home to you. This is the space, the relationship, the work, the office, the home, the place that when you go to it, when you finally step into this place, you'll be like, I can't believe I'm here right now. I can't believe this is my reality. I have friends now who King of King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and Nine of Pentacles, they have a rags to riches storyline. And it literally acts as a testimonial for the people and the families and the neighborhoods and the communities that they've quote unquote left behind. 
there may be certain mindsets that they're still working themselves through, but it was their intention, it was their motivation, it was their persistence and their consistency that got them out of a really tough, toxic environment that they were, they were born into, but they weren't meant to stay within. Some of you guys are going to hear this. It's going to resonate. You are going to lead yourself into greater promised lands. And there are going to be people behind you that are like, how did he do it? How did she do it? The odds were stacked against him. The odds were stacked against her. But because she did it, because he did it, I feel like I can do it. And I'm going to take steps forward. That's why there was a greater cause to this. And sometimes, with Jupiter moving through the sign of Pisces, sometimes you kind of are the sacrificial lamb. Pisces, we don't talk about this enough, but it's like this martyr type of energy where you sometimes you don't ask for it. Look, Page of Wands and Nine of Wands. This is the person who is stressed out, beaten down, broken, but somehow, somehow they managed to make it happen. Somehow they managed to manifest a greater reality. This is a person who was born in the projects and they end up in the penthouse. And I, I know that for some of you guys, you can get triggered and by what it is that I'm saying. And to be honest with you, it's not that I don't care, but this is not your message. My message that I'm delivering to people are things that are spiritually led. I'm not afraid to speak my truth because I know that God is speaking through me to you. And if it triggers you, if it makes you upset, then to be honest with you, I want to encourage you to sit with the triggerization because maybe there's a truth and a revelation that you are not accepting within yourself. And that could be more a promise for you and a blessing for you than you getting upset by what it is that I'm saying. You guys know as Virgo, man, I have Virgo written all within my, within my chart. I don't speak recklessly. I don't speak without intention or without there being a main motivator or if they're a, a, something that is speaking directly through me or ch I'm channeling through it. So if that's not something that you want or if you want me to tell you, you know, lie to you or say something other than what it is that I'm sensing, you're just not going to find that here. You're not going to find that on my Instagram. You're not going to find that on my YouTube. You're not going to find that on my TikTok or anywhere else that you will ever find me, me, not a scam artist, but me. I'm not going to show up in a space that's inauthentic. I've always been 100% myself. I don't know why I'm saying this right now, but some of you guys might also need to, um, not take this as inspiration, but you'll find that you're you're re relating to it, you know, because I, I, I'm always going to come through authentic. I'm all, I'm, I don't lie. I don't lie. That's not something that I do. Why would I do that? What would be the intention of lying? What would be, what would be the intention of hiding my truth? I'm a grown ass woman and I'm a goddess at that. What, what do I have to lie to? <laughs> like, why would I lie? <laughs> like, it genuinely makes me laugh. But, and I know that some people are like, well, Jess, you need to check your ego. I've seen that too. And it's like, for what? I'm very, very humble. And I am very purpose driven. And I know my worth. And I know my value. And I hope that you do too. Absolutely. That's not an egocentric space. It's like, you just know who you are. You don't have to sugarcoat anything anymore at that point. I'm not rude. And neither should you. You just speak your truth and you keep it moving. Because who are you trying to, who are you trying to please? Like, No. <laughs> like no we're good on that I don't know who needed to hear that or what or maybe I needed to say that but I mean that's that's just how that's just how I feel and if you guys are expecting anything other than that or if that's how you have to embody your experience and your truth and your path within your own life then anybody who's expecting anything other than who you are they can keep it moving there are a plenty plenty of other people out there like plenty of other things that you can get involved in and you may not be everyone's cup of tea <clears throat> and your message like it may not resonate with every anyone and that's totally fine you know that's not for you but if you're upset by it if you're triggered by it you should sit with it <laughs> that's just my advice but take it or leave it because clearly you're gonna do what you're gonna do regardless but I want every single one of us to feel very empowered with this transit. How could you not? As, again, with 2022, not everybody's gonna come with you and that's not a bad thing. 
in 2022 it's a year of alignment it's a, a year of harmonizing so if there's something that someone is saying or there's something that someone as they are evolving that it disgusts you or you find that you're disgusted by other people and certain energies that you're just like you know what i've got zero tolerance for this then it's like why can't you wish them well why can't you wish them good and allow them to be free and then you be free and you guys go your separate ways because we are all being led to different waters and everyone's ocean is not going to be a vibe for you and everyone's ocean is not going to be a vibe for them anyways ace of wands is sitting here and this represents again your purpose your passion your confidence your truth it's not that it's egocentric or ego led it's just that you have a deep innate sense of who you are and what you are here to contribute and what you are setting your sights on is worth so much more than what you've walked out of than what you've already experienced and that's not a bad thing that's amazing that's amazing okay spirit we've said a lot are there any <clears throat> messages <clears throat> that you throat chakra is coming through clearly with my throat right now but the moon card spirit wants me to talk to you guys about the balance of mental emotional health and well-being i'm hearing the word being very proactive with your mental emotional psychological growth and your mental emotional psychological healing don't be afraid to call in for reinforcements don't be afraid to call out for help <laughs> excuse me don't be afraid with jupiter moving through the sign of pisces again jupiter is the great benefactor don't get me wrong but it does expand everything that it touches and as jupiter moves into the sign of pisces yeah with the hangman here and the five of wands these are things five hangman is reverse these are things that you just these battles that have you kind of strung up they can be a little too hard for you to fight all on your own don't judge yourself or punish yourself or get frustrated because it feels unsurmountable solo dolo okay don't be afraid to ask for help here especially look the moon card we have to look at this ocean these depths of the water at her feet where this crawfish is just dragging himself up you know and who knows what he's seen who's no who knows what he's found with Jupiter moving to the sign of Pisces, don't be don't be startled if you see some really random memories or if you have some really random dreams that just shoot right in Knight of Wands. Didn't see that coming, especially with the Sphinx card here or the Sphinx at the very base of this card. It's because there's a greater beast, a subconscious beast that is that you are starting to look into the face of. And that is a really awesome blessing knight of cups wanted to really stand out there's an opportunity for healing there but if that truly is the case let it come from an soft unconditional love and unconditional accepting because that is going to be your greater your greatest source of strength i hope this message resonates i hope this reading resonates for those that it's meant to i'm always here in the bahati life apothecary kind of working my magic or um outside <laughs> I love being outside you guys you guys know i do my greatest work when i'm outside around you know the the cycles of the moon that's just that's just me cancer rising but i was also born on a new moon so i just love that um so if you need me you can find me at bahadilife.com i do want to invite you to subscribe to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from please be mindful of scam artists in the comments or on Instagram. I'm not offering readings at this time. I'm not reaching out to people to do readings at this time. I've really been protecting my energy. So anything that reach out, reaches out to you is without a doubt 100% a scam. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I will see you guys in my next video and I'll see you guys in the new year. Can't believe we're saying that. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.